I'm not vegan because mostly medical reasons. I need to consume meat. What's up? Do you want to have a discussion? Oh yeah, sure. It's okay, let's go. Get to Oh, Benjo! Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Okay, mate. You're a legend. What's your name, bro? Uh, Chris. Man. Chris, good to meet you, Chris. Uh, legend. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Come sit down, brother. Yeah. Some veggie bars. Uh, it's great to meet you, mate. Thanks, brother. Yeah, great work, man. Cheers, man. You do, bro. Thank you, bro. Take care, man. Take care, Chris. Thanks Thank you. Work. Thank you so much, man. So good, man. Legend, brother. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. So you've sat down. What's your name? Uh, Joel. So. Seen the sign? What do you think yeah. of the sign? It says, "Why aren't you vegan?" Well, I'm not vegan because uh, mostly medical reasons. I have a um, vitamin B12, uh, vitamin D deficiency, so my body just doesn't absorb them as much as normal people do. That means I'm already on supplements for everything, but I also need to consume meat. Uh, so you're saying that you have a condition that gives you a vitamin B, B12 and yeah. vitamin D deficiency? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what's it called? I don't know exactly, but... Um, but your doctor's told you yeah. that. Okay, and are you, are you on a vitamin D and vitamin B12 supplement? Yeah. Already. And does that handle your deficiency? Well, it keeps it maintainable. Where do you get vitamin D in terms of food? Vitamin D is from the sun, of course. Uh, okay. And so uh, you don't need to eat animal products for vitamin D, yeah? No. Okay. Uh, so, so, so the only other it's, it's one is vitamin B12. So, so you eat animal products to get vitamin B12? Yeah. Do you know how much you derive from animal products? Uh, I don't know exactly. Um, but so you don't say I need four eggs, this amount of uh, mm -hmm. chicken. One time per week, I have eat a meal with meat in it, and it mostly derives from cows. I mean, I want to go against your doctor's <laughs> advice here, but I'm just mm -hmm. curious why you couldn't get um, B12 from a supplement. I mean, for the past 10 years, uh -huh. I haven't had to eat meat for B12, so yeah. I should be incredibly deficient, but I just take a supplement for that. Yeah, if I'm just going on supplements, I either have to get a very high dose of supplements. So you say you eat beef once a week? Yeah. And how much? Just on average. 50 grams. Of what kind of beef? Um, Mince, sirloin steak. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'd have to ask my parents, but um, the I don't know exactly. Well, let's just go beef. Yeah. Sirloin steak, 100 grams. Uh huh. Let's have a look how much B12 we've got in here. Mm -hmm. Got about 84% of your your B12 in there. Yeah. Daily yeah, target two, is 2.4. 2.4 2. is here. Uh huh. So it's about two. Yeah. Micrograms. Let's go nutritional yeast actually. So 10 grams of nutritional yeast has 200% mm -hmm. B12. That's so twice yeah. as much, and for just a sprinkle, 10 grams. B12 is so easy to dose yeah. that you're getting a trivial amount from meat anyway. And if you're already supplemented, you'd have to increase your supplement by like a tiny amount to like be vegan. So yeah. long as it's only D vitamin D and B12 that you're uh -huh. a nutrients of concern for you. Of course, I have to talk with my doctor. It's happened, uh, of course, you got to. Uh, of course, you got to talk to your doctor. I just don't see how like. Beef is like necessary a necessary element to to, to yeah, tackle these point. conditions. Yeah, yeah, because like the, the vitamin B12 is inside of this animal. Mm -hmm. There's different amounts in beef. Yeah, depending it's, on where uh, you get it. Uh huh. The cow might be exposed to more cobalt in the soil, mm -hmm. supplemented more in this farm, and it's a supplement they give to the cows yeah. often. Or it's grass feeding cow. They get it from the dirt. Some some dirt has less B12. Some dirt has more B12 because they basically they eat the dirt and uh -huh. then they create the B12 in them. Yeah. So you, you don't get an accurate reading of B12 when you eat beef. No, it's some place could be less, some place could be more. So, so you know, but with a cow. supplement, you know, yeah. which is much safer for you anyway. Mm -hmm. Still, my question would be, why aren't you vegan? Um, if you do, well, let's, let's ask, yeah. let me ask you this before you uh -huh. answer. Do you think what happens to animals in order for us to eat them is wrong? Yes. So do you think we morally should be vegan? Yeah, I think avoid? what what's happening in the meat industry. I don't know how it's in. Britain because I'm from the Netherlands, but okay. uh, yeah. it's the same, same sh different country. Yeah, the Netherlands is very big on meat export, uh, yeah. so a lot of animals die, and I I am against that. So why do uh, I ask? Why do you think I ask people to be vegan though? Because uh, is it because I'm trying to force my lifestyle onto them, or like why, why no, do you think I, think I would care if someone's not vegan? Why do you think I would care? Well, because if you're not vegan, you get animal products, which is uh, so when someone goes to the yeah. store. Mm -hmm. They buy the animal products. Yeah. They take it off the shelf. How do they replace the animal product? By killing more animals. Yeah. It's, uh, so why do I care if someone's not vegan? Because more animals get killed. For them. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like 
they're having some personal choice and I'm some dictator in a cult trying to like force them to live oh. my way. Mm -hmm. It's that their lifestyle directly harms, violates the rights yeah. of animals. And the longer they're not vegan, the more that happens for them. So mm -hmm. I try to convince people to stop creating that demand. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Do you think it's morally wrong what happens to animals in factory farms, slaughterhouses? Uh, yeah. Do you think it's even wrong if like we treat them nicely and then cut their head off for a sandwich? Um, so we keep, well, we, we, we're not much nicer to them than in a factory farm. Mm -hmm. So we have this option, factory farm, torturing yeah. them, killing them. Grass, free ranging, grass fed beef. Mm -hmm. We take them to a slaughterhouse, they don't want to die, they're, they're in the knock box, they don't know what's going to happen, we shoot them in the head, cut their head off. Yeah. Are you okay with that? I think it's better, but still not right. That's the <laughs> this is worse. Yeah. This is still, I would say, uh, they're violating the animal's right to life by murdering mm -hmm. them. Now we have a vegan option here. Plant agriculture is not perfect, but it's certainly not an animal rights violation to uh, protect our crops or you know protect human food resources. Mm -hmm. There's a clear uh, animal being taken against their will and murdered here to eat their body in, in this situation. And this situation is just complete suffering, abomination, and then killing, which is where most people get most yeah. of their animal products from. So you, I see you're a good person. Mm -hmm. can already tell, don't even have to tell me. Knowing now how much of a marginal difference in yeah. supplementation you would have to, to do to replace the B12 you get from me, mm -hmm. would you now consider being a vegan? I would think about it. I... Yeah. Have you ever seen what goes on inside of um, factory farms and slaughterhouses? Well, I haven't been to slaughterhouses. I have once been to an animal auction. But have you seen the videos? No, I haven't. So okay, no. so first thing would be to watch Dominion. Okay. It's essentially one of the best animal rights documentaries in terms of what happens to each animal that mm -hmm. exists in, on Earth, and this is all secretly filmed. And the practices don't vary much from country to country, but you can check yeah. in your country. On my website, at the bottom of each page, mm -hmm. there's free help going vegan. You can either go Veganuary or Challenge 22, and they just coach you and help you. Uh -huh. Or you can just type in how to go vegan on YouTube, and there's... Yeah. Heaps of resources now. Back when I went vegan, there was hardly anything. Mm -hmm. Now, you got the luxury to know the truth. And because you know the truth, you then have the duty to act. Because yeah. people who don't know, don't really have as much as, of a duty of as course, those yeah. who do know. You care. So mm -hmm. people who care are more likely to make changes. People who don't care ain't gonna change anything because they just continue with their lives and don't give a huh? Now you've got information on how to change. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? You leave today, yeah, I... you think about it. It's a seed I planted. Absolutely. Of course, you're not going to change your whole life right now, but I'm just like giving you all those, uh, all mm -hmm. those options. And I do think what you're doing here is very nice. Did it make it's you a... think like a little differently about everything? Like, I mean, well, um, it's funny because I was walking around and um, it wasn't the question I was expecting on the paper because mostly it's alt right. Uh, you thought it was like a Stephen Crowder yeah, right wing, like that. yeah. Uh, and it's very funny to yeah, see like, yeah. oh, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're, thinking. We're, just, we're just asking people to care about justice and equality, but not just for humans, but for also yeah. animals. The and sentient animals, the ones that mm -hmm. can experience the world, deserve to have rights protecting them like we, we do, you know. Yeah. They're not the, exactly the same, but at least a right not to be enslaved and killed for like a trivial thing, like a sandwich mm -hmm. that we forget about, you know. Yeah. You can make personal decisions every day that add up over time yeah. and that make a big impact. Yeah. And then you can change other people, which makes an even bigger impact. Mm -hmm. And you can be like the change you want to see. Yeah. Right? Bless you, mate. Take care. You too. Enjoy. See you later. Love you, Teddy. Thank you, mate. Hi. <laughs> I live it. Hello. How Hello. are you? You okay? How are you? My this name is, is Maria. Hi, Maria. It's Miguel. Miguel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We we'll follow you. Ah, oh, cool. We we'll follow you. We are vegan for like. We are. Oh wow. Three years. Three years. Nice. Can I have a take? Yeah, good. Yes, let's go. Thank, Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your support. Keep up the good work. Oh, um, I will. I try my best. Thank you too. You took the good work. Well, Thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Really nice to meet you. Take care. Bye-bye.